overall, even though all this has happened, I, you know, you're still my daughter and I still love you. I hate what's done. I hate what happened. I hate all the choices and things that you guys did. I the recorded phone call between alleged murderer Kelly Cochran and her mother brought emotion to both of them as the defendant's mother, Melanie Gaboya, testified. During the conversation that occurred while Cochran was in jail, Gaboya told her daughter that she didn't know she was capable of murder and asked her if she had always felt that way and if she had a conscience. Another phone call played was between Cochran and old Ammerman, her deceased husband's friend. During that call, Ammerman tells Cochran he has a letter from her late husband that he asked Ammerman to send to the Iron River Police Department if anything happened to him. The letter was made up by investigating officers who recorded the call. Ammerman says that Cochran asked him not to send it, but ultimately told him, do what you had to. Questions about the letter persisted. Just whether I mailed it, I said I did. Asked me what was in it, I said I didn't open it. Michigan State Police forensic scientist Lisa Champion also took the stand Tuesday morning. Champion testified that she had results from different blood stains related to the case. Stains found on the comforter and on a door arch had the Cochran's DNA on them, but her blood found on a pair of forceps had the victim, Chris Reagan's DNA. Cochran's murder trial continues Wednesday in Iron County Circuit Court. In Crystal Falls, Matt Miller, ABC 10, CW5.